Hello crafty friends and welcome to the fourth day of Christmas card series. Today we'll be creating a card using traditional colors of Christmas. I will be using this Little Inker's Big Christmas stamp set as well as this Lawn Phone stamp set uh, to bug in together for just a, a few little elements. This die from Pretty Pink Posh which I will use to die cut a tag that goes on the front of the card as well as the uh, Avery L die set dotted dies. So I already have my Nina Solar White cardstock die cut using this uh, dotted frame. And now I will use some post-it notes to adhere it to my surface as I will be doing some stamping. And I don't want my dotted frame to be covered in ink. I will be using this uh, Memento Mini Ink Pad Cottage Ivy and I will be stamping these cute little Christmas trees from the Toboggan Together Lawn Fawn stamp set. So now I have my card front ready with all the post-its around it. I'm going to use my ruler, pencil and my little stamp to measure the lines so that all the Christmas trees are stamped evenly in the same row. Um, I see my hair got a little bit out of control. Um, I'm actually using my ruler and uh, pencil to draw some lines so that later on when I will be stamping the uh, image of the Christmas tree, the row is evenly stamped. Okie dokie, and now all the Christmas trees are stamped out. I'm removing the post-it notes and hopefully you can see here that uh, the dotted frame is intact. And now I'm going to use this um, Copic Chow marker to color in the trunks. Uh, I thought this added a little bit of interest so the trees don't look uh, cartoony but more like a, a real tree. So now I have my background ready. I will be working on this tag. Uh, I die cut it using Pretty Pink Posh die and I will be blending some ink over it. First of all, I am prepping the surface using my embossing body as I will be stamping the sentiment using the Versamark ink and then heat embossing it using Wow uh, Gold embossing powder. And now my heat embossing is done, I'm going to do some emboss resist technique and blending some of my distress inks over the sentiment. I'm using festive berries first and then I'm going in with fired brick on the edges. And after that was done, I decided to embellish the edges of my tag and I'm using here this golden powder that I had in my stash for a while. I got it from a, a really good friend, but I never really got a chance to use it just yet. 
Uh, it's basically like perfect pearls, but it's uh, gold. It's really beautiful and a uh, very pigmented powder. I thought it added a little bit of interest to the tag. I tried to catch a little light so you could see how beautiful it was. And now I'm gonna stamp some of the snowflakes from the toboggan together. Long font stamps it all over the tag. I'm gonna use two Brilliance ink pads, uh, Galaxy Gold and Starlight Silver, which are two really gorgeous ink pads. And they give beautiful impressions when you stamp. And now all the stamping was done, I used a reverse confetti die set to cut a little hole at the top of my tag for the ribbon to go. I'm using reverse confetti layered snowflakes die set here. And just a little tip, if you're recreating this card or if you're doing a lot of golden and silver stamping, uh, because these were pigment inks, when I run the tag through my die cut machine, the ink smudged a little bit and especially at this point, when I was adding my uh, gingham uh, ribbon, I smudged uh, the ink a little bit more. So just always remember, when you're using pigment ink, just let it dry first and then go in with all your embellishments. And now I'm using double-sided tape to adhere my card front with the Christmas trees onto my card base, which is a, a red top folding uh, card. And at this point I realized I forgot to erase my pencil line, so I'm using my eraser to get rid of those. And here, uh, one of the reasons why I left so much white space above the middle Christmas trees uh, was because I wanted to add those stars on the top of each one. And then I realized I don't have to really add the golden stars uh, on those Christmas trees in the middle because the tag will cover it. So I only added them on those uh, two Christmas trees on the left. I even actually forgot uh, to add one at the bottom Christmas tree. And now I'm going to use double-sided uh, foam tape to the tag to add a little bit of dimension. And I'm going to adhere it in the center of the card front. And at this point the card was almost finished, but I decided since this was a Christmas card uh, it needed a little bit more of uh, the sparkle, so I went in with my clear Wink Estella and covered all the Christmas trees with uh, the shimmer. that's the finished card for today. I hope you enjoyed the day 4 of Christmas card series. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cards. Have a great and crafty day! Bye!